Today I'm going to talk about pickleballs and what they don't tell you. I'm going to start off by talking about tennis balls. In a tennis tournament they will give players new balls after every nine games. That's right, nine games. In fact, at the beginning of the match, players get new balls after seven games because they take into account that three to five minutes of warm-up time and how the balls may have deteriorated in that amount of time. These balls are way better constructed than a pickleball, and still, they don't last very long. If you've watched a pro match, you may have seen the server ask for three balls, look at them, and toss one aside. They're trying to decide which two are better than the other one, and they want to play with those two balls. So even within that name game window, these balls are starting to deteriorate at different rates. If tennis balls are only good for nine games, and they're better constructed, what does that say about this pickleball? Let me give you some food for thought. You ever been in a game and hit a shot and it kind of died off your paddle, got to the net, or maybe didn't even get that far? The next one you hit goes long and out of bounds and you go, I don't know what's going on. I'm not playing very well today. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's that pickleball. Pickleballs age. They die. Let me tell you why. Think of this ball as maybe planet Earth. North Pole, South Pole, equator runs around the middle. As they get older, the plastic gets softer on the poles and I can squeeze that in. You can see how soft that is. If my paddle connects that ball on the pole, it's not going to go very far. It's not going to rebound off my paddle very well. Conversely, then on the seam, I just rotated that ball around that equator very firm. I can't compress that and I'm actually squeezing harder. So now if my paddle hits the ball on that seam, it's going to go much further. Halfway in between the pole and the equator, a much different consistency as well. That's why you may be missing some shots. You're playing with older balls. Yesterday I was watching a video on YouTube and one of the touring pros mentioned that the biggest problem on tour is the ball and the balls are leading to inconsistencies. Think about it. The last time you played, you paid to play. You bought gas, maybe some shoes, an outfit, maybe some Gatorade, a paddle. If you spent 150 or 200 bucks on a paddle, you did not buy it so you could play inconsistently, yet you're letting a $3 ball ruin your game. What they don't tell you is these balls die. They degrade quickly. They impact your game in a negative way. Don't play with old balls. Go buy new balls. I hope you found that video informative. If you did, we'd like for you to know that we have a website dedicated to help people get better at pickleball. That website is picklesmithpickleball.com.